that time. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your Samburu Chan here. Uh, it's been a while since we created content and I hope everyone is keeping safe, taking care of themselves. Uh, corona is real. Please, please take care. Sanitize and uh, take a lot of warm water or warm fluids. Um, and yeah, if you can stay home, help each other to save lives. For those who are going to work, please sanitize. Carry your sanitizer. Take good care of yourself. Take good caution. And above all, let's help each other in pain. Let's pray for each other. Let's check on each other people are dealing with different things and as a love and light ambassador i believe it's very important to just have routines where you check on your friends and on uh, your family so yes thank you so much guys to everyone who subscribed to everyone who supports me shows me love on any platform instagram my whatsapp facebook thank you so so much i am grateful i appreciate you guys um when i started this i was a bit scared and worried and i didn't know how to do it but hey i am here i've already opened it and we're here doing this so there'll be a lot a lot of good stuff um in stores today is a wednesday i will i was supposed to do i did a video from uh tea tuesdays thoughtful tea tuesdays yesterday and my god it's so bad it's so horrible because i did it in a hurry and i don't think like it's what you guys need to see so i thought of doing it today and my thoughtful tea tuesdays are all about i decided to talk about what is happening in terms of the memes people are sharing and i asked you guys last week if you believe what means people are sharing what memes are actually things that are happening and the results were high that yeah it's true means um what is happening it's a, what is happening is what people are sharing but in a funny way but others are sarcastic so on our today's uh, meme that we need to discuss i'll also share it somewhere here is where it says men you can't leave your wife because she was in impregnated by another man no go to the war room and pray for your marriage that other guy is nothing but just a homemaker that must never be allowed to win. A good husband doesn't just quit. I'll repeat that. Men, you can't leave your wife because she was impregnated by another man. No. Go to the war room and pray for your marriage. That other guy is nothing but just a homebreaker that must never be allowed to win. A good husband doesn't just quit. husband doesn't just quit and just to make this very clear i am not trying to uh, normalize anything i am just sharing memes that have been shared by people and it's things that are circulating around i am just speaking my truth what i think is my truth your truth is different my truth is different but this is my truth and also to uh, put it out here relationships are different what works for you might not work for someone else what works for them might not work for you what works for me might not work for you yes relationships are different and we should let people do what they want and this is just a topic of discussion and it will pass i am not trying to get into people's lives and all that it's really none of my business i am one person who really minds my business and i think i'm a meme and a meme is my business this meme is my business so yeah they say you can't leave your wife because she was impregnated by another man no go to the war room and pay for your marriage that other guy is nothing but just a home record that must never be allowed to win a good husband doesn't just quit so our question or my question is do men go to the war room or do they, do they quit so what i think on this is that meme was 
the person who shared that to me must have been very very sarcastic because we all know we, most men don't don't forgive mm, let's add some gloss to this thing So yes, what I know is I don't think uh, most think most men go to the ballroom. Uh, one thing I know f that is sad, but it's what I think is it's women. The women women are more prayerful than than men. It's women. As women believe so much in the power of prayer that we pray for our families, we pray for our homes, we pray for our um, friends. And it's men are prayerful, but I don't know to what extent that is. Because I think you can know someone who is prayerful and someone who is spiritual. I don't know, maybe they talk to God in their room or wherever they pray. But I honestly think that even when women are faced with marriage, uh, marital child challenges, be it a life or marriage issues, women go to the world. I'm a strong believer of war room. I am a prayerful, prayerful, I'm a fearless evangelist. And I believe in where God has brought me from, and I know the power of prayers. And if I've faced challenges in my life, it's God who's always come through for me. He's pulled me through, He's made me go survive what I've had to survive, and I'm a strong believer by that war room. And yes, um, do men go to the war room or do they just quit? Because I think what I'm uh, I normally have a few discussions with uh, my close friends on this and most people, most of my friends say um, most men quit. If they don't quit, they make the environment so hostile for you, you just can't stay. They'll start cheating, revenging, uh, maybe even others get physical, but I don't think they can just say, you know, my wife is human, I am a Corsair, same way as a Corsair, and they decide, oh well, I'll forgive this woman and we'll raise the child, uh, we'll raise the child together. I don't think in an African setup a man can actually do that, which I think is wrong. If a woman can forgive you, because truth be told, women in marriages are dealing with baby mamas and affairs and betrayal. Same with men, yes. But for men, when it gets that bad, do you go to the war room or do you quit? And if you go to the war room, that's a good thing. Do you still stay? Does the trust stay there? Or if you quit, do you think the grass is green on the other side? Tell me, what do you guys think? Let's share and talk about this today. And thank you very much for everyone who participates on my Thoughtful Tea Tuesdays. I'll be sharing uh, my Thoughtful Tea Tuesdays on my YouTube and on my podcast, which I'll be introducing before the end of the week. Thank you so, so much for everyone who's giving me support and the love as a content creator. Something that just started when um, events were no more. So I am thanking God for every progress, every everything that he's given me and every journey that I'm taking as a content creator. And also just to thank you guys, everyone who's subscribing, everyone who's always there to, you know, text me and tell me, hey, CC, push, push. You've not created content. Push, 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 Momo. Thank you very, very much for the undying support you give me every time. For how you push me to create content and not to give up. May God bless you abundantly, guys. Go follow him on YouTube. He's Momo Photog. Momo Photography. Then Vin Chiron. Vin Chiron, honey. Thank you so much. You started this journey before me and you've guided me through everything I need to learn. Uh, the lessons have been amazing. The people who are doing this along the way, I appreciate. And to my best friend, Chef Jaja. <sighs> this human being, my human diary, decided to start a YouTube channel together. I just like to hold each other to me, guys. Life and everything else. I thank you for having me. Help me. We help together. We push each other. We have to face my strength. We call each other to laugh for you every single night. And I thank God for having me. I hope you have a YouTube channel, Instagram channel, or Facebook channel, or Facebook channel, or Facebook channel. And yes, thank you so much, guys, for everything, everything, everything. May God keep you safe. May He protect you. And thank you so much, Momo, for how you've been helping me with the YouTube channel. Uh, guys, follow him on Instagram and YouTube, Momo Photography, Big Channel. Thank you so much for your support. And Chef Jaja, thank you for being by my side as we walk through uh, the content creator journey. And thank you so much to everyone who supports me in different ways. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.
<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your Sambor John here. Thank you so much to everyone who's been subscribing. I am grateful. May God bless you. Uh, to those who have not subscribed, kindly subscribe and uh, click the notification bell so that you may you will be notified every time I drop or upload a new video. Uh, so guys, um, it's been a while since we created content and I just did this video to show you guys what will be on my YouTube channel. There will be a lot of uh, natural hair uh, tutorials. I'm planning to do a natural hair journey with anyone. I am starting a natural hair journey and there will be a lot. They will do um, the most essential must-haves for natural hair. There will be a lot of uh, natural hair products how to take care of your hair, how to trim the split ends, how to maintain the curls, the type of your hair. There is a lot, a lot in store for uh, natural hair. There is also, we'll also talk a lot on um, face products. That is really losing focus, by the way. So there'll be a lot of face products and skincare routine and natural natural skincare routine there'll be a lot of makeup how to do um, your makeup how to do your eyebrows um, must haves as a um, makeup beginner the what to apply what to use hair yeah. so uh, it's let's just say there is something for everyone on uh, the sambor james channel a really good book you just can't get it enough there'll be a lot of kitchen makeover, makeovers uh, we're doing a kitchen makeover you guys can see them these things up there these are um, my for my kitchen makeover and then the balcony makeover loading there's there are different makeovers uh, just be sure guys you'll have so much fun so today on our tea tuesdays i was supposed to do i sh did a video yesterday on tuesday and honestly that video was really bad i couldn't even upload it so I'll put full to today's I'll put full to today's something that I'll be uploading on my YouTube channel. Uh, it's just funny, something to help me gain my confidence and uh, focus as a content creator. So I'll be doing my videos, my teachers, thoughtful teachers days on Tuesday and upload them on Wednesday. You know, I'll be doing them on Monday and upload them on Tuesday. And so uh, my tea Tuesdays are just about what memes, what I asked you guys what you think about if what the memes people are sharing, if you believe memes have some truth or you believe that, I asked you guys if you believe what memes, the memes people are sharing have some truth and 100% 100, 100 of you guys said yes memes have some truth so I just thought of sharing memes and uh, discussing it and indulging with you guys and so that you can tell me what you think i will tell you my truth what i think about any meme that i share or we discuss and so today on today's meme it says you can't leave your wife because she was impregnated by another man you no know, go to the war room and pray for your marriage that other guy is nothing but just a home wrecker that man must never be allowed to win a good husband doesn't just quit Jogo in a week up. Jogo Amjini. Yes. Back to our meme. You can't leave your wife because she was impregnated by another man. No. Go to the war room and pray for your marriage. That other guy is nothing but just a homebreaker that must never be allowed to win. A good husband doesn't just quit. A good husband doesn't just quit. How true is this? Do you guys think men go to the war room when they have such a situation? Because I think and believe that every relationship is different. And my teacher Tuesdays will be having some sensitive topics and what I want to make clear what I want to put make I want to make it clear that 
My tea Tuesdays will be having different topics and different names. And I just want to make this clear. I am not trying to normalize anything. I know for a fact people's relationships are different. Let's let people do what they want to do with their relationships. Let's mind our business. Let's mind memes business. At least a meme is shared by everyone and created by meme lot. So you don't really, you can't really say at CD. It's just a meme. Nothing to it. Just a meme, but some truth to it. So yes, what do you guys think? When men, when men find themselves in a situation where the wife or the partner cheated, uh, do they go to the war room and pray or do they quit? It's a good thing for men who go to the war room. I mean, if there's anything I acknowledge and I must appreciate is men who know God, because men who know God, they are certain. I'm a fearless evangelist and if there's something I believe in, it's God. And I know for a fact, a man, if the head of the family is God-fearing, I think the other things will just be where, 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 So yeah, guys, what do you guys think? Do men go to the war room or the pit? Our sisters take. I personally think that what I know or what I've seen in the African setup or even with most men, most men either revenge, they will stay in the relationship, yes, maybe because they're other kids or maybe because they still don't want to leave this woman or they're not ready to go. But one thing I know for a fact, which is human, it's okay for you to be angry, to be mad, to do what you have to do, but do you do this do you with men do you have a forgiving heart when you find out your woman has done something like that or she's been impregnated by another man in an era where affairs and an entanglement are like order of the day you wouldn't be surprised if your wife is impregnated by another man it wouldn't really shock you because affairs and entanglements are everywhere and because i don't want to go deep into this because you know for a fact I am not at supporting them, them I'm not at their feminist like that I'm also coming for the women told, we are also not very good people you're told after God we are women the women who are married and they have kids they're not they, they have kids from previous or other relationships but they're still married I don't mean to get into people's business but we know for a fact these are things that are happening and it's either marriage has lost its meaning but that's just his mistake i'm a married woman happily married it's not a bed of roses yes but i think having been married for two years and having dated my husband for over seven years don't start calculating my age hey Yes, um, I think marriage is um, beautiful, but it takes a lot, a lot of work. And part of the work is situations like this. It's in a situation where your wife has cheated and there's a baby. What do you do with men? Do you go to the war room or do you leave? And if you go to the war room, the war room, do you forgive this woman or you go to the war room and come back and start revenging? and having that bitterness creating a hostile environment and if you quit do you think it's green on the other side if you leave do you think it's fair given chances are this woman might have forgiven you so many times for betraying or for cheating so many times or worse women even forgive you she might have forgiven you for um, having a baby or you've got a baby with another woman you're still married to her but when the same happens to your woman or your wife what happens continue sharing the ideas continue i thank you so much guys for today's tea tell me what you think on all my platforms instagram whatsapp uh, facebook twitter tell me what you guys think Thank you so so much for every support you give me every tuesday and the support you give me on my youtube channel as a content creator i thank god for you guys may he bless you in everything that you do and yes take care keep safe 
sanitize, wash your hands, wear your mask if you're leaving the house. And yeah, let's try it full life. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.